You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. Here in this first clip, you're watching Chandler Alverson, our unsigned 2011 shooting guard out of GAC. And one of the things that you know, we've talked about, actually we talked about in the workout on Sunday with Alverson was just her ability, obviously, to shoot the basketball and you know, the ability to stretch the floor, create space. You know, I think the thing that she doesn't get enough credit for is her ability to, to move on the defensive end left to right. She does a good job of, of guarding you know, on and off the ball and projects to be obviously a great shooter, but a kid who's going to be able to make plays on, on both ends for you. You're going to watch her in these next several clips really, really get rolling. You can see her knock this jumper down here. The thing that she does really well that we've talked about a lot inside of our workouts is that high one second fall through that Jonathan Hemingway stresses, uh, you know, during our, our camps and things like that. And obviously we talk about it on our Sunday mini camps inside the factory. You can see her get that basketball up with her right arm, elbow finishes up high, and then knocks the jumper down. Now you see her continuing to knock the, the jumper down. A lot of what we're doing, we talk about flip drills, inside foot. You're going to see her right there, been able to come knock it down. Now put the ball on the floor. We've shot these first two racks off of the catch. Now being able to come out, do the same thing, put the ball on the floor one time, spot it up, head left, still be able to knock it down. You see her fall through is the same every single time. She gets her feet underneath her. Does a really good job of getting squared back. You know, a lot of kids will get to the point when they start putting it on the floor where they start to rush their shot. You start to get kids snatching on the ball through. Their fall through is not consistent. You see that's not the case with Alverson. She gets the basketball up. Every shot leaves her hand the same, and her fall through finishes the same each time, which is really hard to find when you talk about natural shooters. But most of those kids, you don't get that kind of consistency. There aren't a lot of kids who really, really shoot the ball the same way over and over, rep after rep. Alverson does just that. Now you're going to see a move around to the wing. We're actually going to catch and shoot the three. Once again, same thing, you know, really focusing. You actually see her snap her wrist there after the miss, trying to trying to get it back right, and she does right there. She just does a really good job, gets it in, gets it out quick. I actually watched the game a, a couple of weeks ago, region championship. She was playing against Buford and was able to knock down five three-pointers in the game. Uh, she actually had a, a knee injury, um, you know, over a year ago now, and has recovered, and you can, you can see she's in really, really good shape. Body looks good. She's been moving well, able to play, you know, sustained minutes in big games without any kind of drop off. And, and you just see just the ability to, to really get it up and get it down offensively and get that basketball in the net quick. Makes her a, a tough person to, to guard. You know, you start talking about other teams trying to put together defensive game plans. One of the things you're not going to be able to do is give Alverson space to let the basketball go. Uh, so you know, as you close out, she shows that she can hit that one bounce jumper like she did a minute ago. It makes it tough for, for defenders to be able to figure out what they're going to do. Are they going to close out, You know, let her get by for the one dribble pull, or are you going to let her catch it and shoot it as she is here? And if she can catch it and shoot it with her feet set and get that wrist down, it's, it's almost automatic in terms of the basketball going in. So it makes it really tough to be able to guard her, especially if you've got a penetrator and a driver who can get her the ball in good spots. You see her switching over now, putting the ball on the floor, one bounce, still catching the ball out past the three-point line, getting locked in, being ready to go, and then be able to knock it down. Once again, we talk about her feet staying underneath or off the bounce, which we thought was so important. We actually talked about some other things as well that are not in the video, just some teaching tool stuff some step backs and things like that as she continues to learn how to create space with the jumper going to the next level. She just does such a good job of staying square. Shoulder stay square, feet stay squared. So now being able to do that off the move that she's doing now and even into adding in that step back into her game is only going to make her a better player at the next level and make her tough to guard. You're going to see us continue to get those one bounces in. Now she's going both ways. You're seeing her come off her strong hand. 
You see them come off the weekend. At this point, we're about an hour into the workout, getting ready to close it down. And you see the fall through still the same. Shot is soft. Even the misses are right there on the rim. So if you've got an offensive rebounder, somebody that can go get it, they're going to be in a position to be able to read her shot, get to know her shot, and in the rarity that she does miss, be able to make a play on it offensively to get the basketball back, keep the possession alive, maybe get a layup or kick it back out to her for another chance at another jump run.